Prostate gland produces uh, antimicrobial properties, uh, some lubricating fluids. Now, that, that help you with your sexuality and stuff like that, right? So when you have a TERP procedure, it's because the prostate gland got too big. And when it gets too big, it puts too much pressure on the urethra, so you have urinary retention. So right now I'm talking about prostate, uh, benign prostate hypertrophy, or BPH, which is that it's a non-cancerous issue when the prostate gets really big, and it puts a lot of pressure on the urethra. That's the biggest issue with this, that the patient's urine cannot get out. And so what we have to do is we have to remove the prostate gland, but there's different ways we can do it. We can do a really invasive procedure where we couldn't cut. Remember we talked about the perineum, the space between the scrotal sac and the anus? Mm -hmm. So we can go through here, essentially, imagine this is it. We go through here, open the patient up, and access it that way. We can go through the abdominal area, the suprapubic area. The problem is, it's very invasive, and the guy can say goodbye to erections after that for the rest of his life. Mm. So we have to find a way to remove the prostate gland in the least invasive manner. So we put this scope through the urethra, that's transurethral, 